Picture this, a dystopian metropolis where you're an AI tasked with creating the perfect city, balancing the needs of the elite with the common folk, all while playing what essentially amounts to a glorified game of Tetris. Sounds brilliant, right? Well, welcome to Technotopia, a game that unfortunately proves that not all that glitters is gold. Let's start with what Technotopia gets right. The visual style is genuinely striking with a vibrant voxel-based approach that channels the spirit of Fritz Lang's Metropolis. The art deco retrofuturism creates an immediately recognizable atmosphere that while perhaps not to everyone's taste, shows genuine artistic vision. The basic premise is rather interesting. You're dealing with four factions, capitalists, aristocrats, politicians, and the common people, each requiring your attention and resources. You're placed buildings using cards, trying to create specific patterns reminiscent of Tetris shapes to gain faction favor. It's a unique twist that initially seems quite promising. However, this is where things start to unravel. Despite marketing itself as a city builder, Technotope is more of a puzzle game with a city building skin. The mechanics quickly reveal themselves to be surprisingly shallow. You're your starting deck of cards never meaningfully changes, and while you can collect new buildings during gameplay, they rarely feel impactful enough to alter your strategy. The core gameplay loop becomes frustratingly repetitive. You're constantly fighting against rapidly escalating demands from each faction, and rather than feeling like you're crafting a living, breathing city, you're really just playing pattern matching whack-a-mole with your resources. And the worst part? Many of the building types you can place like highways and parks serve no practical purpose beyond filling space. There are essentially decorative elements in a game that desperately needs more mechanical depth. The soundtrack, much like the game itself, is a missed opportunity, with just a handful of tracks that range from depressing to barely relaxing. It's not long before you find yourself reaching for the mute button. What's particularly disappointing in the game is its length. You can burn through all the story content in about three hours, and while there's a free play mode afterwards, the lack of meaningful objectives or progression makes it feel rather pointless. The whole experience feels like it's building towards something that never quite materializes. The grimness of the game's underlying mechanics tells a rather different story than its marketing suggests. Rather than being an agent of positive change, you're essentially managing a city that's destined to fail, watching as your efforts inevitably decay into urban collapse that you are supposedly trying to prevent. I really wanted to like Technotopia. The concept is solid and there are moments where you can see the potential of what it could have been. But between the limited gameplay mechanics, the lack of meaningful progression and the surprisingly short runtime, it's hard to recommend even at its budget price point. It's not a terrible game by any means, but it's one that feels more like a proof of concept than a fully realized experience. If you're absolutely desperate for a unique puzzle game with city building theme, you might get a few hours of entertainment out of Technotopia, but for most players, this is one dystopian future you can probably skip.